Hello, good friends. I'm inside our very simple, but yet very beautiful Friary Chapel. And here, us friars come to pray. We pray as a community, we pray individually. And this is a very unique and ideal place to be alone with God, to enjoy His presence, to let Him consume us. Not all of us live in a monastery or friary. Not all of us are friars or sisters or monks. So we may have difficulty praying in our homes. Well, today, we're gonna give you five helpful tips to help you improve your prayer life at home. So here we are, inside a living room. Maybe this resembles your living room a little bit. And before we get into our five tips, there is one thing that is necessary, and that is to turn it off. Close the computer, shut the TV off, and then I'm not gonna tell you to turn off your phones, but I will tell you to turn off your social media notifications and any other unnecessary notifications. And now we're going to our, our five tips. Number one is to find a place to pray. Now, of course, your living room can be a place to pray. In fact, anywhere can be a place to pray. You know, Jesus, Jesus, his gaze was always fixed on the Father. Jesus was always speaking about him. And he speaks very profoundly and intimately with his Father. And this is what we need, first of all, is to get this in our mind. That God is everywhere. He's all around us. But sometimes we need to go in a quiet place because Jesus tells us as well, go in, in secret to your room, shut the door where your heavenly Father sees you. So here I am inside one of the friar's cells. So we want to go into our room or a private place and be alone with God, to have some quiet time. Remember what the, what the Bible says in the Psalms, be still and know that I am God. And so coming into a room gives us this opportunity. And what we can do very easily is make an altar like you, like you see I have here. Here's a desk and very easily just got a candle, a nice image of Jesus the Lord. I have a prayer book here, I have my rosary in hand, and we can do this anywhere, in, in any room throughout our house. We can even make a closet a prayer room, a literal closet. It's up to you. The second tip to help improve our prayer life at home is to do some kind of spiritual reading. And first and foremost, we want to read the scriptures, particularly the gospels, the stories and the words of Jesus Christ. And why do we want to read these? Well, if we're familiar with the life of Jesus, if we're reading his words, it's very easy to know what he does, how he does things, how he speaks. And the more we have Jesus' words in our mind, the easier it is for us to think about him and to pray to him and even to pray like him as he prays to the Father. Another helpful book we have here is the Catechism, is to read you know, church teaching. This can be very inspiring. We can read, of course, about the sacraments, about prayer, uh, about the Ten Commandments, everything. And we also want to read the lives of the saints to see how the saints pray. Here I have the life of St. Francis of Assisi. And some of us, you know, may have books on, on our devices like I have here on my iPad. This particular book is by St. John of the Cross. St. Paul says to pray without ceasing. So our third tip is to pray at all times. Well, what does this mean? It can mean a lot of things. Well, what we like to think about it as, is to think about Jesus often, thinking about his life, death, and resurrection. I like to meditate on the passion and suffering of Jesus while I'm cleaning. <laughs> And when exercising, I especially think about the sufferings of Jesus the Lord. The fourth step is to give God many gestures of love, praise, and thanksgiving. And we can do this very easy. First of all, we just thank God for the day he's given us, for the food he's given us, and for all things, our family, our friends, the things closest to us. We can tell God we love him throughout the day, and we can ask him to help us to love him more and to love our family and friends more.
especially our neighbor. And then, to help us with this, we can come by images of our Lord and just do a quick sign of the cross or a quick prayer and just gaze upon him, think about Jesus. The fifth step is to change our approach of prayer. You know, sometimes we think of our prayer life as being an employee. We are the employee and God is the employer. Well, I've done my duty today. I've said my prayers, I've prayed my rosary, I've done my spiritual reading, and I'm done for the day. But it doesn't work that way. You know, God is with us everywhere. In fact, we, it is because of Him that we live and move and, all, and, and have our being. So we have to keep this in mind, that God is at all places. He wants our attention always. He wants us to offer everything up to Him, whether it is work, whether it is fun, everything and anything. Second is we often approach our prayer with fear or being afraid of God. Yes, the scriptures tell us to fear the Lord, but we can't fear the Lord as being scared of Him because that's not a healthy relationship. Healthy relationships are, are full of love, are full of, of truth, are full of dialogue, not being scared of somebody. Remember, God gives us free will. He doesn't force us to love Him. He doesn't demand that we love Him. This is done freely. And so fear of the Lord is to be in awe of God and to love Him so much that we do not want to hurt Him. And the way He really wants us to approach Him is as sons and daughters who are loved by Him. God is my Father. He loves me. I know that I'm loved. He gives me all things. Nothing can separate us from His love, only ourselves by our sin. So we need to approach God as sons and daughters who are loved by Him. We hope and pray that these five ways to help you improve your prayer life in your home, strengthen your relationship with God. And remember, they can be applied to any place you go to, whether it is the workplace or the marketplace, or even the gym or any other social gathering you attend. Brothers and sisters, we thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And may Almighty God bless you all with His peace. May He help you to draw closer to Him, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you all.